hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be baking some whole wheat um, bread using whole wheat flour and then today I'm going to be adding in some vital wheat gluten so this will really help my dough to rise beautifully because it's hard when you're using just um, wheat flour it turns not to like um, rise as much as you using um, regular um, flour to bake so today we'll be adding some vital wheat gluten so in this bowl I have three cups of um, whole wheat flour a cup of warm water I'm going to use some bread um, yeast then the vital wheat gluten we're going to need some cinnamon a pinch of salt vanilla extract some sugar and then um, one quarter cup of um, canola oil you can switch and use butter or use olive oil but I prefer using um, canola oil for my bread so let's get started so in a big bowl I'm going to add my um, whole wheat flour then I will add my salt my cinnamon give it a good stir because you don't want the yeast coming into contact with the with the salt so just mix it properly and then um, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of um, bread yeast and then I will add the vital wheat gluten that also goes in there give it a good mix sugar and then at this point you just create a hole in the middle you will add your your warm water it's one cup warm water and then um a one quarter cup canola oil. So. Give it another good mix. Right. Oh, I almost forgot my vanilla extract. So about half a teaspoon will go in there. And then just make sure to now at this point, I'm just going to wash my hand and put my hand in there. So, just put your hands in there to make sure your dough forms properly. And I'm just transferring it from the bowl in the I'll start putting it together. Just continue to knit till like your dough forms together beautifully. Okay, so this is how you want the dough to look like. And it has generated enough gluten so at this point i'm just going to put it inside a bowl that i greased with a bit of oil and then i'm going to let it rest for about half an hour so cover it cool, um, keep it in a cool place i normally keep it in a, in my oven and then i turn on the light so leave it in there for half an hour till it doubles in size and then we'll be back so we are back and as you can see the dough has doubled in size so I just punched a hole in it. So the next step is I'm just going to roll out the dough. I'm just going to roll it out. So 
So at this stage, I'm just going to roll it to form a log. And then I'm just going to pinch the seam to make it fold this here. Basically, this is how you want it to be. Next, I'm going to put it in my greased um, baking. And then I'm going to cover it and I'm going to let it um, proof for another hour. So I want the dough to double again in size. So I'll cover it with a piece of cloth, leave it in the oven with my lights on, and then we'll come back once it has doubled in size and then we'll bake it. We'll be back. So this is how the dough looks after proofing for an additional one hour. So at this point, it's gonna go in the oven at 350 degrees for about half an hour and then we'll take it out. We'll be back. Hello and welcome back. So as you can see, our bread is ready. I just took it out of the oven. So I'm going to try and take it out of the baking pan and then I'm going to let it rest for like about an hour or two before I cut into it. One tip, never try to cut your bread when it's fresh. No matter how tempting it looks, just make sure it cools down first before you slice into it. So I will be back once the bread is nice and cool. Then we'll cut it together. See ya. Okay, so welcome back. Our bread is ready. It has finally cooled off. See how beautiful the bread is looking. So at this point, I'm just going to cut into the bread for us to see how beautiful this bread looks. Wow, just look at that. Can you see that? See? This bread looks very, very soft and beautiful. So give it a try and I'm sure you will love it. I'm just going to try a little piece with some butter. I'm just going to try just a small piece. It tastes really yummy. Thank you for always stopping by to watch my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like my videos, share my videos, and comment. Don't forget to hit the notification button so that I'll be able to get uploads once um, I update new videos. Thank you and have yourself a great day. Bye.